Mapleton is a village on the Holderness coast, in the east riding of Yorkshire. It is located three kilometres south of Hornsey and is home to around 600 people. The village is served by the B1242, the main road connecting settlements along the Holderness coast. Most of the Holderness coast consists of boulder clay. This material was deposited by glaciers during the last ice age, 18,000 years ago. As the cliff material is soft, it erodes very quickly. Additionally, slumping, a form of mass movement, occurs along the coast. In 1991, sea defences were built to protect the village and the B1242 road from intense sea erosion. The £2 million project created two large rock groins to trap sediment carried along the coast by longshore drift. Rock armour has also been used to protect the base of the cliffs from erosion, providing a 450-metre line of defence. It works by absorbing wave energy. The granite boulder rock armour, imported from Scandinavia, was expensive, but it has a considerable lifespan. The cliffs behind the rock armour have been stabilised by reducing their gradient. Vegetation provides additional stabilisation from mass movement. The defences at Mapleton have been very effective in protecting the village. The wide sandy beach trapped between the two groins provides an effective defence from destructive waves. Erosion has slowed to a point where it is no longer a threat. Although the coastal defences have stopped erosion and protected the village and main road, erosion rates have increased to the south of the village. Beach material to the south of Mapleton continues to be transported away by longshore drift. However, it is not replaced because sediment is trapped by the defences protecting the village. This means the south beach is very low, and waves can easily reach the base of the cliffs, increasing erosion. This process is called terminal groin syndrome and frequently happens when groins are constructed. Before the defences were constructed, average erosion rates to the south of Mapleton were 1.7 metres a year. Since their construction, erosion has increased to 3.3 metres. Some areas of the coast have lost 10 metres in a single year. This has caused considerable problems for landowners downdrift of Mapleton, including Sue Earl, the owner of Grange Farm in Cowden. Before the defences uh, were put in place, they could put a boat on the, on the beach and leave it there, and it, the tide never, never came in and hit the bottom of the cliff only in winter. But now it, the sand went, and every day it just hits and hits and hits the cliff. So it's undermining it, so that's when we got the increased erosion, because the sediment was stopped coming to us. In 1991, Grange Farm was over 20 metres from the cliffs at Cowden. At the time, Sue was planning on expanding the dairy facilities. However, this was not to be. In 1996, we had, unfortunately, to take the house down. The council came and gave it a demolition order. So they, we had to get out. We had no option, but it was hard because we had to watch stand and watch them demolish it. Just before that, about a year before, we had, we'd lost the road because there was a road at the top that we used to use for access, and that went. They did help us with the electric, because that was about 10,000. They, they did contribute to that and a few skips to get rid of the, you know, the farm buildings, but that is all. We never got compensation. Between 1991 and 2022, approximately 100 metres of land at Grange Farm has been lost to erosion. In November 2022, there were only two farm buildings left standing, one of which was in the process of being demolished. The coastal defences at Mapleton have been very successful in protecting the village. However, they have had unintended consequences further down the coast. The current shoreline management plan is to maintain the defences at Mapleton and let nature take its course to the south of the village.